Hey, it's Lisa Jones, Millionaire Medium, and I wanted to talk to you today about Groundhog's Day. Do you remember that movie where the reporter, he kept falling asleep and the next day it was the same again every single day? Well, I feel like that's what happens to me sometimes in my life. I don't know about you, but I thought today would be a fun time to ask Spirit what we can do to really overcome this rut that we get into and why you know we can't seem to break out of just doing the same thing every single day even though we have the best of intentions of doing something different. So I pulled some cards and the first card that I got was focus. So I think for so many of us, at least I know for me, I'll be talking about myself, is I'm trying to change so many things in my life that I'm scattered. I'm not focused on what I really want to change. So let me just start with having you think about what is the one thing that would most change your life right now if, if it could change for the better. And so focus on that. So that's number one. And then our action card is gratitude. So whatever it is that you want to focus on and change, you need to start putting gratitude toward whatever that is. So I would suggest that in the morning, you think about the one thing you wanna change in your life. For example, let's say you wanna eat better, okay? So when you wake up, you're gonna focus on, okay, today I'm going to focus on what my body needs to eat and what's going to help fuel me and give me the energy I need and have it be healthy and fulfilling okay so that's your focus in the morning well then throughout the day keep track maybe on your phone or maybe you know on a on a piece of paper just jot down some things that you're grateful for so for example maybe it's that first cup of coffee in the day right so as soon as you have that cup of coffee just be like oh my gosh I'm so grateful for this coffee I love it it feels so good to me um, for me it's tea I don't drink coffee I've never been a coffee drinker but anyway I know a lot of people a lot of people love coffee but throughout the day use the gratitude to really um, focus on the gratitude that you do feel for the food and that that you know that you're nourishing yourself and then by the end of the this is your outcome is passion and so what you, what you're going to find this is what spirit's telling me is that by the end of say a seven day period of really focusing on what it is you want putting gratitude toward it, you're going to find a passion for it. So for example, with the food, maybe you'll discover that there's foods that you really do like that you didn't even know about before because you know, you've been in a rut and you do the same thing over and over. You always fall into that bad habit of eating whatever it is you don't want to eat rather than focusing on what you do want to eat. So anyway, I just wanted to touch base. I thought this was a really fun idea to find out from Spirit what we can do to shake it up and to get out of our own way and start really focusing and figuring out ways to find that passion in our lives that we're looking for. All right, have a great day. I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.